Hi, this is Brandon Sway from thirstgym.com, and today we're talking about an exercise called the Slam Ball Slam to Broad Jump. This is a great plyometric exercise to develop triple extension and lower body power, but it also teaches good quality mechanics of broad jumps and overall plyometrics. So what you're gonna want here is a Slam Ball. You can certainly use a regular Med Ball, but the Slam Balls work great for this because they dud. So this is full of sand as I drop it, it just stays on the ground. It doesn't bounce back up to me. And the reason this works well is because we don't want the ball to come back and hit us, but we're gonna use it as an implement to get us in a good position to perform our broad jump. So what you're gonna do is by taking the ball, we're essentially gonna have this upstairs, up good and tall, and then I'm gonna slam it as hard as I can so we do get some upper body power out of this as well. So just make sure this ball is not like 40 pounds, not really what we're after here. 10, 15 pounds works best for majority of athletes. I think if you're going over to 20, you might be working with pro level players or something like that. Uh, but I really think 10 to 15 is probably the sweet spot here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slam that as hard as you can. And as you do that, we're gonna end up in a good athletic stance. Hips are gonna be loaded, chest is gonna be tall. Now I'm ready to put as much power into the ground. So we're essentially gonna try to use the stretch shortening cycle, which are our tendons uh, and our muscles lengthen, and then they want to contract again. So we're gonna use this in a loaded variation to get that stretch and then apply that stretch into our broad jump. So what we're gonna do, start tall on my toes, like a regular med ball slam, but with a slam ball, as high as I can, slam and jump. So here, then you're gonna come back to the ball and just repeat the, act the activity. So again, up on your toes. So as you can see, when I go to slam this ball, I'm landing in this position here, all right? I'm in a good position to go and jump. And now I can use that energy that I threw down here to load these hips up to then perform my broad jump. So we'll do this one more time. My, the only thing you may change is where your feet are at. I would prefer to broad jump about hip width, but because I'm slamming the ball, I'm gonna widen up just a little bit so to make sure the ball can land a little bit in front of me and then I can also jump but not hit the ball. So this just being like almost any other plyometric or power-based exercise, this works better in those lower rep ranges, three to six reps per set, and we really like these for about three to five sets. Now, the big thing again, make sure you're not using too heavy of a ball. Your athletes need help getting in that position, so if they've got their broad jumps down, unless you wanna to try to combine exercises, which we do that a little bit, if we're really squeezed for time, we're only seeing an athlete once a week, this is a good way to get the upper body and lower body power exercise into one exercise to save us some training time. But the big thing is slam as hard as you can, end in that athletic stance after you throw, and then immediately go into your next jump and stick your landing. So again, three to six reps seems to be a sweet spot, three to five reps. If you got any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.